Today we're going to do Simon Hopkinson's Parmesan Biscuits. Ever so simple and very, very tasty. It's uh, much simpler for us here in Europe because all you have to remember is 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of flour and 100 grams of cheese. However, it doesn't work out quite like that, of course, in the States. So, uh, just to let you know, flour and hard cheese like cheddar, 125 grams is one cup. Parmesan cheese, however, 100 grams is one cup. So it doesn't really matter how much you do as long as you have equal quantities by weight of butter, flour and cheese. So all you do is combine those with a pinch of salt, a pinch of cayenne pepper, a heaped teaspoon of mustard powder and you zap them all together, stick it in the fridge for half an hour and then you can make your biscuits once it's of course solidified a bit in the fridge. That's all you have to do and we're going to show you how to do it. So my kitchen slave has already done some preparation. Here we have 50 grams of grated parmesan cheese. Well actually it's grana padana but same thing really. You could also put in a little bit of pecorino if you wanted or any hard cheese. It has to be hard cheese. We're going to have the same amount of cheddar grated. So remember the recipe said 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of flour and 100 grams of cheese altogether. Two sorts of cheeses so 50 grams each of parmesan and cheddar. So we want about 50 grams of this. I'm guesstimating that I've done 30 grams so far. Normally I grate the cheddar first because it's a little bit softer, a little bit stickier in the grater and then afterwards I do the parmesan because that's harder and drier and it helps clear out the holes in the grater. Just a little tip for you there. Right, let's see how much we've got here. Turn it on. We've got zero grams set there and now we throw that in and we've got 40. Okay, not, not too bad, so we need another 10. Fifty, there we go. So we now have our hundred grams of cheese there. So here was how we get butter in the middle of Europe. Carefully marked up in fifty grams. So we're actually gonna have hundred grams there, but I've already got some here, so we only need about twenty-five, thirty grams more to go together. The butter has to be cold. Now, actually, one ounce weighs just over 28 grams. So 100 grams is three and a half ounces. Does that help you? But again, we do everything by weight in Europe and not by silly cups and things, useless measurements. So, what I'm going to do is just put all the stuff straight in to the mixer. I have discovered that if we put the flour in first, a lot of the flour gets caught in the bottom of the mixer and doesn't get mixed in. So what I do is put the butter in first. We want to chunk it up. So, 
Hopefully we've got about 100 grams. Oh, what a pity, it's 104. Quel dommage, what a shame. So then we can put the cheese in. Straight away, there we go. And we've got same amount of cheese as butter, as we can see by the weight, 208 grams, so theoretically we can put in 104 now, making a total powder there nearly empty so empty the kit tin into it we want a pinch of cayenne pepper there we are that's a pinch and we want a pinch of salt that will do and that's all there is to it, because what we do now is get the machine down now we're going to pulse it to start with to get it going and then we're going to let it run. It will come together. It just might take a little bit of time, but it will come together. Has come together. Now all we need is a strip of cling film. mixture into the cling film. See, by putting the butter in first we've got nearly everything. If you don't put the butter in then there's a hell of a lot of flour left in the bottom of the mixer. So, we've got our cling film. What we can do is start mixing. Doesn't get your hands dirty by doing it this way. And you can squidge it down. And so on. Now this is where I diverge from Simon Hopkinson, who is one of my feed hero food heroes, I must say. <coughs> because what he says is you mix and knead the dough and stick it in the fr fridge for at least half an hour and then 
you take it out the fridge and you put it on a floured surface and you roll it out to so and so thick and all the rest of it. I don't agree with that because what I do is I roll it now into the shape I want. And then when it comes out the fridge I just slice off the biscuits. Today we could have biscuits that are shaped like butter pats. I can make them bigger and so on. What we don't want is a big gap like that in the bottom. Whoa, I've just dropped it, never mind. getting too loose and wet and soggy now so into the fridge for half an hour. So the dough if you want to call it that has been in the fridge for at least half an hour. It will stay there for up to two days if you want. It doesn't have to come out immediately. And we are going to uh, just beat up an egg to get an egg wash and we have a coated oven tray here but you can always put grease paper or whatever on there and the recipe actually calls for the biscuits to be cut to the width of about two pound coins so that's two pound coins in my fingers there and we will cut them in a second the oven has been preheated to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, no, Celsius, 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 of course, which is actually exactly 356 degrees Fahrenheit, but we'll call it 360. So that's what we're going to do, and let's get on with it. Okay, so the two pound coins, about that width, doesn't have to be exact, remember, doesn't have to be exact, so there we have one onto our tray. Two. And so on. Do not put them on the tray next to each other because this is a lot of butter in here and it's going to flow. So we don't want them all coming together. And again, I'll repeat, like nearly everything in the oven, 180 degrees Celsius, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Just about everything gets done there. So then, what we're going to do when these are cut, is brush them with the egg wash and drizzle some more grated parmesan over the top and then cook them. But first of course I'm going to put this back in the oven yeah. oven <laughs> in the fridge and we get our pastry brush and the egg wash and we just go over the top 
if of course my kitchen slave wasn't doing the filming here then she would probably be getting out the microplane and just grating from a height some more parmesan but we'll do that in a second so you've seen the basic mixture I'll repeat it 100 grams flour 100 grams butter 100 grams cheese or 125 grams of each and so on what you can also do is throw in other little tastes like for example some lemon juice or herbs of some sort very simple to do and what we need is the microplane and then we can just put that over there Simon Hopkinson's Parmesan Biscuits found on the BBC website under food and he, Simon Hopkinson that is, also sometimes puts little rings of jalapenos on the top or in the oven the smell will tell you when they're done but it'll be about 10 minutes the smell tells me these are pretty good let's have a little closer look and beware the puff of hot air so they're ready to come out Thank you. 